Yeah, well, I, I'm actually a huge fan of the liberal arts uh, education process, and I congratulate Alliance University for starting a school of liberal arts, because in our country, I frequently find myself at convocations and prize givings at, uh, at both schools and colleges, and I find that our parents have so indoctrinated kids into focusing on the sciences that if I ask 100 people, so what are you going to be doing next, 99 of them will give me an answer that involves science or mathematics or technology. And I think that's all very well and surely our country needs all of that to get ahead, but it's not enough. And the reason it's not enough is that the scientific disciplines essentially deal with a world of certitudes. That is, <coughs> this plus this has to equal that. You switch this on and that happens. Such and such a thing produces that reaction. I mean, everything is black and white. It's a world of absolutes. Whereas the real world is not like that. The real world is a world of greys. The wo real world is one where incertitude reigns. Where when people talk to each other, they discover that with the same data, they may have totally different conclusions. Or they may bring different experiences and different assumptions to their understanding of a particular problem. Liberal arts is what teaches all of you how the world really is. It's complicated, it's messy, it's nuanced. It expands your horizons, it takes you beyond the binaries of the science and technology world. It takes you into a world which is much more like our real world. Now I know the technologists and engineers here are going to push back and say, but ours is the real world, this is a world of dazzling technological change, you're right. But that's precisely why you need liberal arts, because there's a study by the Oxford Martin School that says in 2030, 30% of the jobs in the world will be jobs that don't exist today. Now, how on earth is a university going to prepare you scientists and technologists for a job that doesn't exist using technologies that don't exist because they haven't been invented yet? Why you need the liberal arts is liberal arts doesn't teach you what to think. It teaches you how to think. It teaches you to look at the world with all its incertitudes, to look at the various options and possibilities and nuances that are out there. And that gives you the flexibility to apply your mind to something totally new when it comes your way without being intimidated because that's what you've been doing all your university life. Whereas people who've dealt in absolutes find that much more difficult to adjust to. And woe betide a world in which scientists, technologists and engineers also get into politics and public policy. There was a uh, a, a terrible study at, at Oxford in the late 90s, or the beginning of the, 20th century, of the 21st century, which established that though not all engineers are terrorists, 95% of every known terrorist to that date, 2005 or 2006, 95% of them had studied engineering. And it's simply because engineering doesn't admit of anything but an absolute truth. And they applied that mindset to politics to their faith, to their convictions. And they said, this is the only way it's got to be. Everybody else is wrong, kill them. That's why terrorism came out of that background. And I'm not suggesting all of you are going to turn that way. But the fact still is that that study was revelatory of one of the problems with the uh, technological mindset.